Something else to celebrate this St. Patrick's Day, Guinness beer is good for you. Yeah, I just said that. With a couple caveats, of course, but let's drink to the health benefits of Guinness on the breakdown. It's easy to drink and full of flavor. And according to dietitian Jessica Lehman, Guinness is good for you too. You know, as the old ad said, Guinness makes you feel good. But Guinness contains some compounds in it that are actually good for your heart. So in moderation, a little Guinness is good for you. And for men, that means two drinks a day or less. Or for women, that's one drink a day that or less. That does not seem fair. So one or two drinks of Guinness this Sunday is A-OK. -okay. And for some of us, it's even better. I'm a nursing mom. Is it true that this is good for nursing moms to drink Guinness? You know what? There might be some anxiety decrease that would definitely help with milk let down. <gasps> no matter what booze you choose, drinking too much of any liquor may leave you queasy and regretful. But master mixologist Alex Ott has a book called Dr. Cocktail, featuring drink recipes that will get you a buzz with benefits. A list of three of Alex's amazing concoctions, The Little Death with tequila and cinnamon, Aloe Mate, a combo of aloe and Pinot Grigio, and Todos Santos, which has rum and cayenne pepper. So to break it down, Guinness, good. Alex Ott's drinks, good. Other drinks, especially too many with high sugar content, not so good. Whiskey, yeah, good for I, me? I don't know about but that. But Bailey's? Well, no, no. I, I can't Jameson? that. No. So enjoy that Irish nectar. Just don't try to set a Guinness record for drinking it. Cheers. Cheers.